and welcome back to uh, Neverwoman Model Making and uh, part 6 of the Suzuki RGV500 uh, by Tamiya. And in this part we'll be doing all the bodywork. Just uh, temporarily put them on just to see what it looks like. It's going to look really good. So, based on this part, which probably will, probably will be the last part, um, we'll get all these looking nice and shiny and uh, decaled up, painted and uh, fitted to the bike. Okay, so uh, i sure what I've done so far. Get it off, come on, there we go. Let's glue that together, which has this white bit goes in that hole and this black bit fits then on the bottom here. I think I'll keep this off until it's uh, all painted up. So that's black and these are all white. But we'll see. Um, the fuel tank. It's been too hard at the moment. So again, we'll get that uh, glued together and uh, it will seem sorted out. And usually with these uh, tanks, there's this nice little dip which usually has the biggest seam line in it, which makes it hard to get at. So anyway, there's a few bits and pieces to put on there. And there's a front cowling and cowling underneath, which obviously needs a windscreen and things. So we'll uh, we'll work through that and uh, get it all sorted. And then we'll, uh, we'll be finished. We'll have a really good looking bike, hopefully, uh, by the time we're finished. So uh, we'll pause there and what we'll do is we'll uh, Get these glued up and uh, have a look at the seams and see what, uh, what we can do with those. Okay, moved on with the uh, fairings. Um, this front one had a great big seam line on the front here and a few uh, location marks where it's attached to the uh, sprue and uh, you fit these. scoops in here which left a bit of a seam there so I'm just giving that a bit of a, a repair it was still a bit proud this one seems to be quite smooth now so they all look tank together that feels worse than it is but we'll see what it's like when it's uh, primed up that tends to show up any mistakes you've done um, bottom of the uh, Bearings underneath the uh, engine. It's a simple seam that. And that's so fitted this in. And then again, these look it's smoother than they look. There's any seat goes over that. So, like this, it's got this extra cushion on there. It's doing the Kenny Roberts version. So, I'm assuming it was. Uh, as tall as uh, the other riders, and uh, with us, we've done put a bit of the uh, netting in on this part, which goes on the front there, and some supports for the fairings as well, and the other cap. So uh, We'll do it's got that one little seam here just have a clean up on and I think we're uh, probably ready to uh, stick some primer on. Um, I think I'll be using UMP's uh, white primer. Um, I'll do it on the whole thing because even though in here it's going to be uh, it's more black. Use some glass maybe. Anyway, I'll take on the instructions. Round up, check some seams and things, and then uh, we sort it out. I think these parts because they're darker, I'll probably do those in grey. Anyway, that's the intention. I might end up just doing them in white because I've got it in the uh, airbrush. So, um, that one seems to uh, have a bit of a play with, and then we'll come back after we've primed and we'll uh, check joins and things. Okay, back in a minute. 
Okay, so that's got the uh, parts primed up. Don't really make, not much difference because it's black and white. Um, so the joints on there is fine. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, it's covered up very well. Same in the bottom there. Uh, this one in here is a bit rougher than it looked, as you see in there, so I'll have to look at that. And this one again has come out fine by the looks of it. Okay, so it's really just, uh, you see the, which I said uh, right at the beginning, uh, it's going to be tricky. Anyway, we'll uh, have a look see what we can do with that. So, did end up doing the other ones in, uh, in white because it was in the uh, spray airbrush. So, uh, doing a little uh, sand over, just use the uh, fine bit on these polishes from uh, UMP. Just takes a bit of uh, dust out of it. So, we'll have a think how to uh, sort that out. And then uh, give another coat in for primer, and then uh, we'll uh, stop painting things colours. So uh, these three are white. This one is about well, close as I got to match is a TS10, which is a spray. Close I've got is uh, X14, which is sky blue. So that's sky blue. And uh, dress in light, various colours of uh, rubber black. But I'll show that uh, when we paint it. Okay, so a bit of seam sorting. Back in a minute. Okay, so what I've done is a uh, bit of uh, sprue goo in that. That's basically a uh, bit of leftover, extra thin, and cut up bits of sprue, and it gives you. With a plastic solution. It does take a while to dry, so uh, I'll have to leave that till tomorrow before I can file it down. So, uh, what I might do is uh, do a bit of uh, spraying over the other parts and uh, maybe inside of these parts, which is my black XF1. So, uh, we'll get a bit sorted out with that and then uh, we'll get something done. I've done a bit of painting, so I've done the uh, insides of the cowling. I did call out for um, flat black, but I uh, discovered I've actually run out of that, so this is semi gloss. Okay, and I've done these two in semi gloss as well. Did those, these are going to be chrome, so I've uh, just given them the semi gloss just to. So a bit shinier and on the seat in uh, rubber black. Yeah, inside of that one as well. So uh, I'll let them all dry and then we'll uh, do some of the outside colours. I need to do some masking as well for like uh, fill up some of the holes and things. So I'll have uh, a look at that. Um, so uh, see you in the next bit. Okay, so that's the uh, top of the fuel tank. It's not perfect, but uh, it's better than it was. And uh, so I do a bit of colouring. So I've done, messed up the uh, holes. Give a quick cover of the uh, primer, white primer again, because there's bits of black from uh, where I was doing the insides. Showing, so I'll. Uh, Anyway, I'll do white first and then this blue. Okay, so I'll just get some uh, white paint sorted out and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so that's the uh, bodywork painted. Um, 
is in X2, it's cross white. Let's go for K. And this is the X14, which is the sky blue. Pretty cool colour, though. Don't remember using that or anything, but uh, the uh, little bottle is uh, nearly empty. But I can't remember spraying anything, spraying anything that cool. Anyway, it's cool. I like that. So I'm going to do let things dry uh, to see how the uh, paint service comes out, see if it needs sanding down or anything. And uh, I think I'm thinking about doing some uh, decals. So uh, let's see. Let these dry and uh, be back in a sec. Okay, so the uh, last bit to paint is this little thing on top of the fuel tank, which gets painted in X4 blue. It uh, just goes with the dark blue decals that go on top of the, uh, the tank. So uh, just masked it off with obviously some masking tape with a hole in one, clear off hole on there, and the rest of it's uh, cling film. Just make sure there's no holes, it's cobbled down the uh, eight sides there. So uh, I'm going to put a tiny bit of that to get it painted and uh, let that dry, and then uh, we're ready to uh, do some decals. Actually, while I'm just thinking about it, when I was gluing this bit on, and it's not going on very well at all. It's very fiddly. Um, but as I held it down with some masking tape, I just dabbed a bit of extra thin in there, basically shot straight underneath the, uh, the, the masking tape, and uh, I'm not sure that, that shows. There's a little bit lumpy on the paint there. And the other way around, there's a bit of blue on there, so I just need to touch that up. That was very annoying. I'm stuck. It's bit under here. Again, that uh, that behaved much, itself much better. So we're uh, getting there to the stage when we start decaling things. So I'll just get that bit done, get it dry, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got uh, the decal done. Decal's done, should I say. Um, didn't film much of this, I'll show you a couple of clips in a sec, if they're any good. Um, by the way, I put them on. It's very slow, especially when you're going around corners like this, using lots of microset and microsol to get it to, to go full. So it wasn't the best uh, thing to film. Anyway, that's uh, the inferior donor. Done it in a few layers, like this is uh, one piece, that's another one on here. This uh, RGV part is uh, on top, so Kenny's part, okay, the number 10, and uh, it's part of the bottom. What to do with this as well, I think I showed in the last clip that it was all the pale blue, so what I did as well, because this uh, Suzuki part comes with a white background, so what I did is uh, marked off, last off the top part and painted it white, so the blue wouldn't show through on there. Uh, that's come up nicely. Okay, just fix, fix a couple of little uh, bits that uh, things had uh, seeped through. And uh, got a fuel tank. Again, there's uh, a few decals on here. There's one, two for the top, each side. And the Suzuki is over the top. So basically, two layers of uh, Suzuki on there, and this blue streak. Uh, the seat. So again, this is a few layers. It's like the carbon fiber effect with this blue and red part over the top and say the 10. And the Suzuki at the back. And the windscreen has Suzuki Racing uh, website down the side. So, what we're going to do now is uh, garnish this and I'm going to use. Um, Is the X22 clear? 
so don't do any of this uh, 2k spraying because basically I've got the booth for it and it to uh, and to smell the house out. The other thing is, personally, I think it's a bit shiny for uh, small models. Anyway, that's uh, my opinion. So, give it a spray with this and uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like. And then we can start putting things together. So, the end is in sight. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay, so that's going to uh, everything, a few coats of the uh, X22 uh, clear. Nice deep shine there. Blend over the top. Yeah, happy with that. So a few hours to dry before we start to handle it. Okay, so what we're doing now is uh, start putting this together. Comes the instructions. This goes on uh, first. Shine on that, and we'll uh, fix the seat on. So that is the uh, exhaust pipes go through there and stick out the back there. Like that, and if I hadn't messed the uh, exhausts up, they would be uh, same level. I'm assuming the uh, the shorter one. Okay, and that has a screw to hold that down. So one of the things I've noticed about this, uh, this kit is it doesn't actually give you a scale for the screw. It just says that screw gives it size a bit, but uh, unless you've got a little uh, measuring stick or something, then uh, you're not necessarily going to know uh, which screw is which. Where's my measuring stick? It's running somewhere. Probably if I go while I go hunting for things. Won't be sick. Yeah, found it. It's hiding in plain sight. Over there. So we want a screw that is two and a half mils. It's probably just one of these small ones. Yeah, one ten little ones. Got a lot of those. Okay, let's get a screwdriver. Right Screws go in the side, either side of there. So I think they're the same size ones. Yeah, that's the little silver ones. I'm trying not to flick them about the place because the uh, cabin monster, monster will love them. side. Yeah, you can pick it up on the camera, but you can actually just see the through the little hole, the part you're uh, screwing into. Okay, so that's one truly on. So come back and do the other uh, seat once I've got uh, a bit more on. Okay. So, so I've fitted that. So now we do the front cowl. Which is as you just uh, 
I'll leave her over the uh, side of the radiator. So one side at a time, I think works best. There we go. That. It's a little bit higher. As you're aiming these two screw holes on that little silver bar. And like that. So that's all lined up. So again, it's the same size screws again. Yep. Same on this side. Tip of the screw. So you've got the uh, windscreen to put on. Got what the hell that after? And then the fuel tank. Actually, before I forget, are these little uh, stems which attach to the top of the uh, cow link. So what we'll do is we'll pause it there for a sec. Let's get those sorted out. Let's get them off the sprue. Um, probably need a bit of a tidy up underneath. And uh, we'll get those fitted and we'll finish off with the last two pieces. So bear with. Okay, so that's got the uh, two supports in. They were fairly fiddly. Um, can't really film them obviously because it's all the uh, things and thumbs. So. So we can get this uh, fuel tank on. So that uh, under here's two little hooks that they hook over that and so I'm waiting to see. should just clip on the bottom. One side on, one side off again. Take a I'll pause it, I'll have a fiddle. Okay, so there we have it. That's Tamiya's. Uh, RGB 500. It's a really nice kit. I highly recommend this. It's really special, that. 
So I'll just have a quick tidy up and then uh, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so as I showed in the previous clip, that's the uh, bag finished. It's got a nice finish with the uh, gloss there. Take hands all works fine. That all went together a dream. Yes, really happy with that. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. Glad that was recommended to me. So, uh, thanks very much for, uh, for watching. Uh, so this is uh, Pepper Model Making, and uh, if you like what you see, um, click the notification bell, subscribe, and uh, I've got. Uh, new membership um, option as well. There's a join button on there. Uh, and I filmed this, no one had actually joined yet, but uh, anyway, early days. It's uh, it's there just in case you want to. It's only 19 AP and uh, I'll, uh, I think you can get to watch it without uh, having to watch all the adverts. Um, I'm going to watch other channels, it's a bit annoying because uh, they're the same ones. So anyway, I really recommend this kit. I got it from uh, E-Models, I think. Um, but anyway, they'll have it in Tamiya's Suzuki RGV 500. This has been Nevermore Model Making. Thanks very much. See you in the next one.